Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and another fun card making video. Today we are going to be creating some faux watercolor brush, brush stroke backgrounds with a awesome new stencil from the Simon Says Stamp Be Creative release. We're also going to be using lots of really fun new products from the release to create our cards. We're going to start with four and a quarter by five and a half inch panels of smooth white cardstock and three shades of a beautiful aqua-ish green color combo of positively saturated inks from Simon Says Stamp. We're using Tide Pool, Tropic, and Aegean, and we are going to apply these from top to bottom for a nice ombre effect. Now you'll notice that the brush strokes are pretty far apart. So when I remove the stencil, there's still a lot of white space. To have even more of the faux watercolor brush strokes, I'm going to flip my stencil upside down and we're going to kind of try to hit those white areas in between, but if it overlaps, that's fine. Now we're gonna go opposite. We're going to go our darkest color to lightest. And what we're gonna end up with are beautiful backgrounds that have a watercolor or water um, brush stroke effect, but really quick and easy with stencils. I absolutely love this. I think it would be beautiful in any color that you choose. I did choose monochromatic. I tend to gravitate a lot towards monochromatic, but imagine this in rainbow, or you could even do this in um, some other, you can you know, combine different color combinations for lots of different effects. Now I love the new sticky mats from Simon Says Stamp, plus they have the great landscape or portrait orientation in the center of the sticky mat so you know exactly where to place your paper as well as your background stamp. This is the thank you text background stamp from Simon Says Stamp and you guys if you've been here a while know that I love a text background over some stenciling or stamping so a little subtle text over our watercolor brush is always a fun thing. Now that background is not brand new part of the release but it is one of my favorite products from Simon Says Stamp. Next, we're gonna take Fantastic Flowers. This is a new six by eight stamp set, and we're going to stamp some images from this. I'm gonna go ahead and do three of everything you see here, and that is very much on purpose so that I will have enough for three cards. Very much like you have seen me do over the last few weeks, or months, I really try to make the most of my crafting time, of my stamping time, with multiple cards in one sitting. The difference that you're going to see on these particular cards is the sentiment. I love card designs that will work for any number of occasions or um, holidays, whatever the case may be. In this case, we will be using uh, Big and Bold 2, another new greeting stamp set from this release, to make a thank you card, a grateful for you card, and a hello or happy birthday card, simply by switching up the little sentiment strip we add with the greeting. I stamped the stem of this big leafy branch with Perfection Positively Saturated ink. And I did start stamping with a lighter color of ink for the leaves. I think I used celery. It was a little too light for me, but I'm gonna just show you because I kept this. Um, it just wasn't as much of a contrast, I guess, as I wanna see. So I'm gonna use Lime Licious, which is the mid-tone in this trio, and I like that a lot better. Keep in mind, all of the ink is going to kind of lighten just a little bit as the ink is absorbed into the cardstock. Now, leaving my stamp in place, I am gonna go ahead and stamp all of these. I love using the Misty and a Sticky Mat. It's just kind of double the security of keeping your cardstock right where you want it. So I am going to go ahead and uh, finish the leaves before we move on to some flowers. I am only using a portion of the images you get in this set, 
And the other option is there is a coordinating stencil. So maybe you want to stamp the vein for the leaves and maybe you even want to stamp um, the leaves themselves like I did. You could then take the stencil and add some shading or you could just stamp the veins and, and then do your ink blending for the leaves. There are some flowers in that set. Lots and lots of fantastic ways to use these products together. I love that there's a lot of different options for creativity here. You're gonna see a lot of tone on tone stamping for my flowers. I'm not going to do too much. The background is the supporting cast, but I don't wanna cover the whole thing up, uh, if that makes sense. So the big leafy background is really going to fill the area. I only want some little pops of color against the green and the aqua to really showcase my sentiment. So we're going to do a pink, which I am stamping with carnation and rose or peony, rose, uh, positively saturated inks. I am going to stamp with sunbeam and citrine for the smallest flower and cantaloupe and sherbet with for the orange. And definitely with my color choices, I don't know about you guys, but I am all about the spring, spring flowers, spring colors, springtime crafting. Um, tell me if you guys are still, you know, maybe enjoying a little bit more of the winter-ish or love-themed crafting. I, I have definitely uh, moved on to springtime, 100%. <laughs> uh, I think I, I'm ready for it to warm up. I know I'm ready for it to warm up. And so I am ready for flowers and green grass and all of that good stuff. Just like with the leaves and our background, the flowers will absorb and lighten just a little bit as that ink dries. Anything blotchy also tends to smooth out. So I am not gonna worry about that a whole lot. I did this assembly line style, meaning I am doing all of my stamping. I stamped my leaves, I've stamped my flowers, and once I have all of those things stamped, I'm going to go ahead and take the coordinating dies, clip them apart, and die cut everything, really giving myself like little piles of elements. Uh, we have all of our backgrounds, we'll have all of our embellishments, and then I will stamp and die cut all of our greetings, and then we can put it all together. It's really one of my favorite things to do. When you break it down into steps like this, it allows you to maybe break down or break up the project into multiple craft settings. So maybe you only have time to do the backgrounds one evening. So you sit down and do a bunch of backgrounds. Um, maybe the next evening you sit down and you stamp all of the greenery and flowers and things and get those all die cut. Maybe you even have time for the greetings. And then the next day or whatever, you can sit down and put them all together and add the embellishments and call it good. I'm a huge fan of any time that you can kind of break things down into little manageable pieces, or maybe you just need to break it up during the day if you're taking care of kids or anything like that and you only have a limited amount of time. That is very much how I I craft too. Uh, I do things in groupings as I can, uh, and then I come back and kind of put it all together when I have a, a little bit more time. Now that I have everything, I'm going to go ahead, grab the dies, clip them apart with some wire snips. And tape them in place with a little repositionable tape and run them through my die cutting machine. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the rest of snipping them apart as it's just a little time consuming piece. I've already die cut everything and now I have my sentiments. At the beginning of the video, I said that I just switched up the sentiments. Now, if you want to make, let's say, a set of thank you cards to give to someone, or you need multiple birthday cards, you could very easily use completely different sentiments and stamp everything the same. Uh, they, they could all be the same, but this is where I like to show how you can use the same design, the same colors, everything, and make three different greeting cards. So I have chosen hello, 
thanks and grateful for you. The size and scale and the font of these sentiments are absolutely perfect. They're a little whimsical, which I love, uh, just the different heights and things of the letters. And we're gonna put it all together. I stamped them with Versafine Onyx Black Ink, die cut them with the coordinating big and bold two dies and i'm using the simon says stamp foam adhesive in the roll and also the squares on the back of my large leafy piece and we're going to pop that right in the center of the background look how pretty that faux watercolor background is and the tone on tone with the watercolor brush strokes or faux watercolor brush strokes and then the light text is just a great way to really focus on these beautiful elements um, while it's it just adds interest i love an interesting background i'm a big fan of having at least a little something going on in the background and i really really like this so now i'm going to figure out my the placement for my flowers and i don't want to cover up the whole branch so that's another reason i really picked just three flowers for the design and we're going to kind of group them down here in the lower right of the of the leafy element so we've got our pink that's just going to go kind of up above our orange flower will be down here a little bit lower and then for our visual triangle we will add the yellow flower next to that or just a little above and then out to the left is going to be the perfect little spot to add our sentiment you're gonna to need to be creative with the foam adhesive behind the words because part of the words are over the background. So they need to be popped up with foam adhesive to lay flat or flush with the rest of the elements. And then whatever is overlapping the things already popped up with foam, just a little liquid glue will work to, get, to secure that to the design. There is my big, bold black greeting. And then in addition, I actually took some little phrases from the brand new birthday stamp set in the Be Creative Simon Says Stamp release. And I'm making them work with these big and bold greetings. So this is a hello, happy birthday. Even though it wouldn't have to be a birthday card, I love the little sentiment strip that turns it into one. Uh, same thing for my other two cards. I picked sentiment strips for those, also from the same stamp set, but it's funny that even though it's from a birthday stamp set, it works for other occasions. So hope your day is fab for the grateful for you and the word sending for thanks to make the sentiment sending thanks. All of it, I love, I love the addition of a sentiment strip. You guys probably know that. You also know I love the addition of a heart. So I embellished some of the letter O's in the uh, large sentiment with a little candy apple trinity stamps heart i have got some other trinity stamps baubles here in the colors luminous lemon captivating cantaloupe pearly pink and mirrored mint and i am adhering these to my card design i replaced the centers of the orange and yellow flowers with pearls I am adding a scattering of the mint pearls throughout the card and then some pink pearls. I decided not to add them to the pink flower. I didn't want to add five teeny tiny little pearls to the center of each of those. So instead, I'm just gonna do a little scattering up the branch. So lots of little pearls, but I think it adds just the right finishing touch. I'll adhere these to white card bases and my cards are all finished. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this set of three cards using a faux watercolor brushstroke background. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me today for another paper crafting tutorial. I love being able to share with this incredible community of crafters. I want to give a huge shout out and special thank you to my amazing Patreon members. If you're interested in joining Patreon, please click the link in the description underneath the video here on YouTube. Patreon is a private community where you can support more of what I do. There's exclusive content. You'll receive a handmade birthday card from me during your birthday month, 
monthly lives for my top tier patrons, and more. We would love to have you join our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you're always notified when I have a video or go live. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again next time.